In this video, we're going to learn how to print out the elements of an array in reverse using C. The first thing we'll do is declare an array. We'll have int array, and then we'll initialize the array with the values 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. So here we have an int array with five elements. The indexes of these elements are as follows. The first element is going to be at index 0. The second element is going to be at index 1. The third element is going to be at index 2. The fourth element is going to be at index 3. And the fifth element is going to be at index 4. Now, if we wanted to print out these elements in reverse, we could create a loop with a counter variable. And we could initialize the counter variable to 4. And we could decrement that variable by 1 with each loop iteration. Then we could stop the loop when the counter variable reaches 0. So what we could do is then print out the element at that counter variable in the array. Let's create that loop. We'll have 4 int i is equal to 4. We're going to continue the loop so long as i is greater than or equal to 0. Then we're going to have i minus minus. So we're going to start off the counter variable at 4. So we can print out this last element first. Then we're going to decrement i by 1 with each loop iteration. We're going to continue the loop so long as i is greater than or equal to 0. So we're going to stop the loop here. The last element to print out will be the element at index 0. That will print the loop in reverse order. So here we'll have printf percent %d space, and then we'll have the array element at the index i. When it's done, we'll also print out a new line character. So if we save, compile, and run the program, we'll get 98765. That's the reverse of 56789. So our program does work. Now, what if the array was six elements long? For example, what if we had 10 here? This element would be at the index five. It would be the sixth element in the array. And our array would now have a length of six. So what we could do is generalize this algorithm a little bit more. We could declare a variable length and set it equal to the array length. So we'll have six here. Then when we create our loop, we'll have length minus one. Because the last element in the array is always going to be at the index that is one less than the length of the array. So if we save, compile, and run this program, we get 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. And again, we've successfully output the array in reverse. Now what we could do is also create a function to output the array in reverse. We could then call this function with any array of any length. So here we'll have void print reverse, and then we'll have int array and int length. So the function has a void return type because it's not going to actually return any value. It's just going to output the array elements. The function then accepts the array as an argument and the length of the array. We'll provide a definition of this function down here. So we'll copy this and paste it here. And our code for this function is going to be identical to this code here. So we can actually just copy this in. We'll cut this here and we'll paste it here. So now we can call this function and the function is going to use this loop to go through the elements of the array provided as an argument and print them out in reverse. And because the array length is also provided to the function as an argument, this for loop will automatically adjust to that length. So now let's test this function out. Up here in our main function, we'll call print reverse and we'll pass it the array and the length of the array as arguments. We can save, compile, and run our program, and we get our array printed out in reverse, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. We could also use this function with different arrays of different lengths. So for example, we could say int b is equal to, and we'll have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Then we could call print reverse, and we'll pass it b and 10, because the array b has length 10. And if we save, compile, and run our program, we get 987654310. And so this array has also been printed out in reverse. 
So this is how we can print out the elements of an array in reverse using C. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.